Hey, what's going on everyone? Meteorologist Mike Linden here. Today we are going to be looking into the radar and satellite imagery features in the My Radar app. This is probably the bulk of what you would be using the app for to see whether or not a storm is heading your way, or if you want to track storms that maybe are really far away from you. There's so much that you can do and ways to customize the radar. So let's jump right in here. I'm centered over a big wall of rain sitting right over top of Mississippi and Alabama here. But let's just say we want to customize the radar a little bit to get a different view of things. So first thing you want to do is tap on the layers menu on the toolbar. It looks like the stack of cards. And within this, right at the very top of the layers menu, you have the radar layer. It says high def right now because that is the radar type, those squares that we have chosen. You have the option between high def, temp map, which will show you uh, a really cool overlay of temperatures in different colors, historical radar, which is a premium feature, per station radar, which is also a premium feature, and then the classic view as well. Now, let's stick with high def for right now and tap into the layers menu to really dig in. Now, you have a lot of options here in the My Radar app. Opacity, which will change the transparency on the map. So notice if we turn it all the way down here and go back to the map, it really dims things down. So again, you can customize it to your very liking. The speed, which controls the looping speed of the radar. You have the choice between the loop interval, which is five or 10 minutes of time. The loop length, which will show you the previous 60 minutes, 90 minutes, or 120 minutes. The animation slider, this is really helpful here. Let me, let me turn it off so you can see. If I turn it off, look at the bottom here on the app. It will just show you the period of time and the legend. But let's say we really want to get in there and scrub around. We've got to go back into the layers menu, into high def, turn on the animation slider, and then from here we can pause, play, and you can really pinpoint a period of time here. If you, by the way, pro tip, you drag that slider all the way to the right-hand side and leave it paused here, the app will update as the latest frames come in. Let's go back into the layers menu here and check out our other options. Storm centers, which if we turn that on, that will show you right here a little square with an arrow, which is showing you the direction that a storm is moving and the speed at which it is moving. In this case, this storm here just to the southeast or southwest of Starkville, Mississippi, is moving at roughly nine miles per hour toward the southeast coming from the northwest. So if we go back into the layers menu, again into the radar, we have global satellite enhancement. I've got that turned on here. This is an awesome feature. So what this will do is kind of fill in all of the radar all around the world where there might not necessarily be radar data, radar data available to us. So again, with that turned on, I mean, look at this. I'm um, over here near Manila in the Philippines, and you can see, let me play it for you here, and you can see radar imagery. This fills in the gaps all across the world. Let me zoom in on India. Again, you can see everything going on all across the world with a global satellite enhancement. That is an awesome, awesome tool that's free out of the box. Next, we have future radar that we can turn that on here. We'll go back to the United States. And right here, with future radar, once you're centered over a location, it will show you the future of where storms are likely to be moving. And you'll know that you are in the future when you have the white, the white box around the time. That will show you the radar moving into the future. So if you want to check out lightning within a storm, that's really easy to do in the My Radar app. In the radar menu, and we go into lightning, you have two options. You have flashes of lightning and the markers of lightning to show you the exact location of a lightning strike. For this case, let's just turn them both on here and we'll turn on the lightning layer. And there we go. We can see the flashes of lightning. This is really cool, especially if you want to share a loop with your friends. You can see a lot of lightning within that storm too. Let's jump back into it though. We'll go into the lightning menu. We'll turn off the flashes and turn on the markers. And there you go. You can see the markers instead if you want to get a more pinpoint location as to where the lightning strikes are. That storm's got a lot of lightning. 
So let's go back into the layers menu here and into radar. And then finally you have precipitation classification. If you turn that on, that will of course show you the different types of precipitation within a storm. This is particularly useful in a winter environment when you can see whether or not there is snow, freezing rain within a storm. So those are the features that are available in the free version of the app. But let's just say you wanna check out some of the premium features that you can mess around with in the app here. So a really neat premium feature in the My Radar app in the layers menu here is the historical radar. This is particularly neat if you wanna go back in time and look at historic weather events. So let's tap on historical radar and let's go to August of 2005 and we'll go to the 29th and there is Hurricane Katrina. Really, really neat if you wanna again go back and look at historic radar loops. We'll just hit play there and that is going to loop through the storm. So now let's take a look at the per station radar. We're gonna tap on that in the layers menu. This is part of the pro radar pack in the premium features. And with this, if we zoom out, it's going to show you all these dots on the map. But what those dots are, are Doppler radars. Now, if you see one red like this here over uh, near Nashville, that means that that Doppler, at least for the time being, is out of service. But for this instance, let's tap on this one here in Mississippi, KGWX. And look at that, that is gonna show you everything in view of this radar. Also new in the My Radar app are terminal radars at area airports, which are a little smaller in scope in terms of how far the beam can reach, but this is particularly useful if you want an even more crisp image of storms passing through your area, or if you're tracking storms using the app. Let's jump back to KGWX, tap on the crosshair on the right-hand side of the screen, and this is going to give you a slew of data products to look through. You have composite reflectivity, reflectivity, velocity, correlation coefficient, differential reflectivity, enhanced echo tops, and vertically integrated liquid. All of these features are super useful. Again, you can tap on velocity, and that is going to show us whether or not there's any spin within this storm, uh, showing us winds, of course, going in one direction versus the other. You can go into correlation coefficient here, which will show you potentially vertically lofted objects. All of these features are great if you are a weather enthusiast or a meteorologist, if you're looking to track storms, of course, a vertically integrated liquid to show you whether or not there are any hail cores within a storm. So really, really excellent features here within the per station radar. And then finally, let's jump over to the clouds layer so we can look into the satellite imagery available in the My Radar app. First, we'll tap into the clouds menu and here you can see clouds, which is visible satellite imagery, aviation, which is IR, rainbow, which is just a different color scheme for IR, and then water vapor. For now, let's tap on water vapor here. And we'll take a second to load depending on where in the world you are because that's got to pull in a lot of data. But that is going to show you, again, satellite imagery on top of the radar imagery. I've got to turn the layer on. And there we go. So you can see the water vapor imagery. Of course, we have drier air with this particular storm coming in around the back side. We have the more moist air coming in off of the Gulf of Mexico. So this gives you a really complete picture as to what is going on with the weather all around the world. So that's gonna do it for this tutorial. If you'd like to try out the premium features in the app, like the Pro Radar Pack, all you have to do is tap on the gear icon, which is the settings menu in the bottom right, and then tap on unlock premium features. From there, you'll be prompted to run a trial if you would like to try out the features before upgrading. And then when you do want to upgrade, you are able to choose either a monthly or an annual option. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.